everyone, you're welcome to Carrie's Tutorials. I'm Simeon Grace. In our tutorial, we'll be taking us through how to cut and how to sew a wedding dress. It's going to be a mermaid dress with a um, back rope and loops. And we'll be using lots of fabric. We'll be needing our lace, satin, veil net, shiny net, hard net. We'll also be needing our lining. We'll be making use of boning. We'll be using a ready-made breast cup and we'll be needing SA as well. The measurements we'll be needing for this um for this tutorial are the underbust measurements and the knee length and the full length of our wedding dress. We'll be needing the round shoulder measurements, the sleeve measurements, and the round sleeve. We'll also be needing the bust, the underbust circumference, the waist, and the hip measurement. So, in case you're watching this, you need to watch the concluding part of the tutorial, which is the sewing. So, let's move on. So, the first thing now is cutting the satin. And it's going to be a, a tube dress. I'm going to make the satin a tube. So I'm going to subtract five inches. The length from the shoulder is 36 inches. So to my 36 inches, I'll be adding one inch. That's 37 inches. I'm subtracting five inches from the shoulder. I'm five inches off since it's an since I'm making it a tube dress. So I have my armhole of 9 inches. Under bust measurement, 13 inches. So I'm going to make it 13.5 inches. So the bust is 36. Plus 8 divided by 4 is 11 inches. The underbust circumference is 30 inches. So I'm going to take my underbust circumference immediately after the underbust measurement. And 30 plus 8 divided by 4 is 9.5 inches. Next is the waist measurement of 40. The distance between the underbust measurement and the waist is 6 inches. So I'm going to take the waist measurement 34 plus 8 divided by 4 is 10.5 inches. The hip is 42 inches, plus 8 divided by 4 is 12.5 inches. The distance between the waist and the hip also is 6 inches, and as well use 7 inches depending on the height of the person. So I have 12.5 inches. I'm going to subtract one inch to get the base. This is 12.5 inches, so I'm going to make this 11.5 inches. I want the shape curved in. That's why I'm bringing out. That's why I'm subtracting one inch from the 12.5 inches. Now to this measurement. This is the normal measurement. But since it's going to have a, a brace tube, I'm going to add 2 inches to my folding. This is 12.5 folded as the highest measurement. That's with the hip measurement. So I'm going to add 2 inches to that because of the breast too. So now I should have 14.5 inches. I have my 14.5 inches, so the 2 inches has been added to my folding. The next thing I want to do from the shoulder, first I'm going to hide the 2 inches and I'll take the shoulder measurement. The shoulder measurement is 15 inches. Divided by 2 is 7.5. So since I'm cutting it out as a tube, same 
almost the same as an off shoulder dress so i'm going to subtract 1.5 inches this is applicable to all measurements so this is my 1.5 inches and from there i'm going to connect all the measurements So, we have a shape, and I'm going to cut this out. I can just use this to cut out the back design, and on the back, I'm not going to add the zip allowance. It's going to have loops, so I'm going to just fold the two inches extra we had it to the front. I'm going to fold it in and place this to cut out the back. So I've reduced the two inches, I folded it in, and I placed it on the back. Like I said, the back is going to have loops and rope, so I don't need any excess. So this is the back now. The space I'm going to leave in between the loops is what I'll be tracing out now. You can actually have a straight row passed at the back or you have a slant one. So for me, I want a slant row. And I'm going to measure from two inches. And I'll reduce that because I want it slanting. I reduce this. Now I have 1.5. I have one inch, I have 0 0.5 and it aligns back to the normal measurement. So I'll be tracing this out now to cut. Okay, so I'm just going to draw my straight line the way it is. The next thing I'm going to do from here is to measure for that. So the that measurement of 4 inches and with my same allowance of 0 0.5, I'm going to make it 4.5 inches. Alright, so I'm going to cut this. So I'm going to start looking for which is which is one and two. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to cut is this the cover. Since the back is going to have a space it's going to have a space at the middle so i'm going to to cut out the cover and before i do that i'm going to cut out this then we reduced two inches because i want a slant shape you can you can actually have a straight one at the back so i'm just going to cut this out as well So the rope design I'm going to have is going to fit in here. The next thing I'm cutting is the cover. Eight inches. Since it's going to come from, it's coming from one dart on one side to the other side. So that is eight inches and it's folded into two. Eight inches folded into two. The length is same as the back measurement. 
but I need to reduce just one inch. I'm going to reduce one inch from the length, from the normal length we have here. Okay, so I guess we are done with the back for now. We we'll move to cutting the front. First, I need to unfold my two inches. The nipple to nipple measurement is 7.5 inches. To get 7.5 inches, I need to fold 3.75 inches. I'll just approximate that to four inches and I need my allowance of one inch. Now this is the under bust. This is the under bust. So from the base of the gown, I'm going to measure 3.5 inches. Sorry about that. 3.5 inches. Now from the under bust to the nipple point is 3.5 inches. And on the neck, I'm going to measure three inches. Okay, so now I'm going to bring this straight to the under bust, then I'll curve to the nipple point and back to the neck design. And in case you don't want the straight down, can actually increase this to four, four inches. Can increase this to four inches, to four inches, then 3.75, 3.75, then back to 3.5 inches. So whichever way you want it, you're good to go. All right, so from the under bust, I'm bringing this to the nipple point and back to the neck design. Yeah. All right, so let's go. So this is what we have. I'm now I'm going to bring out the neck depth on the middle piece. Bring out the depth. Remember from our measurement, it was minus five. So the depth of the middle piece, I'm, I'm bringing out six point five on this side and five point five inches on the other side. So I'm going to bring out a sweetheart neck. The depth can be reduced to your choice, can be reduced to your desired measurement. All right, so after, after cutting this, the next thing I'm going to cut is the lining and the SD. So I'll just place my fabric, I'll place each of my fabric to cut. Just like what I have here. I'm cutting out the lining and as well as the SD. Place the fabric to cut each of it. I've done that. So now we move to cutting the lace. All right, so to cut the lace, and I'm only going to add six inches to my measurement. And that means your measurement 
divided by 4 plus 1.5 inches. So it's the same thing as this measurement plus 6 inches divided by 4. So the measurement I have using the highest measurement of the hip, the hip is 42. So 42 plus 6 divided by 4 is 12 inches. All right. So we have minus four inches. The length from the shoulder, remember, is 36 inches. So since it's an off shoulder dress, it's going to be minus four inches. So minus four inches, I'll be adding one inch to the length and that'll be 37 inches. So we have nine inches as the arm O, and we have the under bust measurement 13 inches. We have the shoulder of 15 inches divided by two is 7.5. 7.5 minus 1.5 inches, that would be six inches. I'm subtracting 1.5 because it's an off shoulder. So we have six inches. The bust measurement of 36 plus six divided by two is 10.5 inches. So I'm taking that on my nine inches. We have 10.5 inches. We have the under bust circumference measurement that's below the under bust measurement. So the under bust circumference of 30 plus six divided by four is nine inches. The waist of 34 plus six divided by four is 10 inches. And we have the hip of 42 plus six divided by four is 12 inches. I'm going to subtract one inch from here to get the base measurement and that'll give us 11 inches. So the next thing I'm going to do is connect the measurements and cut out the shape. So I'll be using this, this is the front. I'll be using this to cut out the back. And to do that, remember we are not adding any zip allowance to the back folding. So we have our original measurements. I'll just place it to cut out the same thing. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is to split the back. Also, I'm going to reduce the measurements first by two inches because of the back rope, two inches, 1.5, one inch, the same way we did on the, on the satin fabric, 0 0.5, then back to the normal Measurement. So I'm going to slanting the shape out. Good. Okay, so we have the front and the back. Let's cut out the sleeve. Okay, so the sleeve length is 22 inches. I'm cutting out the two together. And I need this lace, this lace edge at the wrist. So... We have, yeah, I have 23 inches with my same allowance. And we have the round sleeve measurement of 10. The upper arm is 11, lower arm is 10, and the wrist is 8 inches. We have 11 as the upper arm. We have the lower arm 10 inches, and we have 8 inches. So I'm folding using the highest measurement, and that is 11 inches. 11 inches divided by 2 is 5.5 inches. 
plus 3 inches, we have 8.5 inches. So I'm folding 8.5. Folding eight point five inches. All right, so from the wrist measurement of eight, eight inches divided by two will give us four inches. I'll have just zero point five for same allowance, so we have four point five inches. I hope you can see this. All right. We have 10 inches. So divided by two is five inches. And the, the same allowance of 0 0.5 inches, that is 5.5 .5 inches. And we have the hopper ham 11 inches. Divided by two is 5.5. 0 0.5 inch seam allowance, that is 6 inches. So now from my folding, I'm going to measure down 4 inches. 4 inches. So I'm going to connect this to the folding. Then I'm going to bring out the shape. This time around, the address is an off shoulder. So first, I'm going to measure four inch. I need four inches. I'm going to add one inch for my seam, my sewing allowance. One inch, so that is five inches. And bringing it from the four inches, so I'm going to cut the straight. It's an off shoulder sleeve. Alright, that's the sleeve. So let's move to the base of our dress. Cutting out the base of our dress, we've cut out 36 from the full length of 65 inches. So the rest of our measurement is 29 inches. So to get 29 inches, I'm cutting out my satin first and I'll be, I'll be needing 42 inches. Where I'm attaching the, the satin to, on the main dress is the hip is 42 inches so I, I need 42 inches and since my fabric is folded into four this is a double flare folding that's first fold the fabric into two then you bring out your triangle shape this way so i have my fabric folded into four that means i'm dividing 42 by four inches and that will give us 10.5 inches now I'm going to gather this part of the satin. So I need more than 10.5 inches. Whatever measurement I have here does not matter in as much it is, it is more than the 10.5 inches that I need. Now the length is 30 inches. That's 29 inches plus one inch sewing allowance. That's 30 inches. I'm going to measure from, from the hedge to that point and I have 19 inches. So I'll take 19 inches round. So let's confirm the measurement first. All right, I need 10.5 inches and it is more than, so that's okay. 
The next thing I'm going to do is to measure the length of 30 inches. I'm going to cut this out. The other things I'll be cutting out on this part, huh? the veil net, I'll be cutting the veil net, I'll be cutting the inner net, or the add net, also I'll be cutting the lining on this part. So my lining is going to be cut straight and I need two lining. One is going to be immediately after the satin and one is going to be the last thing on the arrangement of the base. So cutting that, I'll just measure three yards. I'll use three yards. The length of my satin is 30 inches. So I don't need up to that. I'll measure 27 inches. So let's do that. So the next thing after the satin is the lining. And I'll be using four yards of lining. This is four yards. That's 36 in four places. 36 and 36 inches. I folded it into two, so that's four yards. The length of our satin is 30 inches, so I don't need up to that. Yeah, I have 20 inches. You can make it 25, 27, you're good to go, but here I have 20 inches. So I'll be needing two of these. This is one. And this is the huddle, four yards by 20 inches. So the next thing I'll be cutting is the add net or inner net, as the case may be. All right, so this is my add net. And what I have here is in three steps. The first one, I have four yards. This is four yards of add net. And the length is 20 inches. The length is 20 inches. So this is coming first. This will go first, four yards by 20 inches. The next is five yards. This is another step and it's five yards. So it's five yards by 20 inches as well. This is 20 inches as well, 20 inches, and it's five yards. This is five yards, that's 36 in five places. And the next is, this is 10 yards. I have two five yards, so I'll just join this together. Well, 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 that was a serious work to do. Anyway, it was worth it. I'm sure you enjoyed the class. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Also click on the notification to get notifications for our upcoming videos. I still remain Simeon Grace. Remember, you can follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, at All Africa TV, and at Carries Creations on Facebook and on Instagram as well. Till I see you next class. Stay cool. Oh!